Yeah, so Dallas choked again. Here we go. The demise of the Dallas Cowboys. End of season, end of coaching era for Mike McCarthy. Jerry Jones Super Bowl drought. Now goes all the way back to 1988. And I thought this team was good enough to maybe be in the NFC Championship game. And then who you know where it goes from that point on. Big decisions coming in the Big D. Jordan Love completes an unbelievable season for the Green Bay Packers. 272 yards, three touchdown passes, laser-sharp passes in the Green Bay win in Dallas. Aaron Jones ran for a buck 15, kept busting tackles. Romeo Dalbs, the kid that played at Nevada, Reno out here on the Mountain West, went off for six receptions for 151 yards. Packer wide receivers are running open. The tackling was deplorable. Dak Prescott, who I thought for a large chunk of the second half of the season played like an MVP guy, he was way off target. There just was no rhythm to what he was doing. And C.D. Lamb, the star wide receiver, got psyched out. He got (laughs) knocked off routes. He He got distracted. He didn't do anything until the game became a blowout, and then they started to get him the ball. He started to play like the guy we saw for much of the season. Got 165 passes this season, but when they needed him the most, he was arguing with officials. He was yapping at defensive backs. He was getting knocked off routes. He was getting jammed at the line of scrimmage. So what does Dallas do? Mike McCarthy is 42-25 and as a head coach, but he's only got one playoff win in four years in Dallas. He's had three 12-win seasons. He won the NFC East twice, which has perennially been a pretty tough decision. So what is Jerry going to do? Because Belichick is out there. Harbaugh is out there. So your reaction to the game, your reaction, what is the next step forward the Dallas Cowboys do? Well, remember we talked about this, and I asked you, Lee, is there any chance the Packers could win? And you're like, well, if there's injuries. But none of us expected this, this lopsided blowout in Big D. Jerry Jones, disappointed. You know he's got a quick trigger. He's going to... I think he's going to eliminate McCarthy and and you get a guy in there like Belichick that can smack the boys around and get him in line. Belichick knows how to win. That might be a really good fit. I was rocked with how poorly Dallas played considering how well Dallas played from the middle of the season on. They were dominant on offense, very explosive. They played pretty well statistically on defense. That did not look like the same type of team. And this is young quarterback, Jordan Love. This is three young wide receivers and a young tight end. You'd think they'd be intimidated by 106,000 mm-hmm. Jerry's World and that stadium. And they came out firing. Jordan Love has just, he's exceeded my expectations. Hell, I think he's exceeded the world's expectations. Oh, he, amazing how well he how well he did. And just some of the throws were just remarkable. And think about that. Go from Favre to Rodgers to Love. I mean, what a run for the Packers. But can you explain why the Cowboys continuously choke all the time? What's Is there something going on there? The pressure must be unbearable in Dallas. Of course, everything in Texas is bigger. The pressure <laughs> must be unbearable. But I just don't understand how they could play so well for a large chunk of the season and have this thing just dissolve right in front of them. I mean, Dak Prescott looks so out of sync. It was ridiculous. And and Green Bay just played on the edge defensively. And when we talked and did our preview at the end of last week, John, you know, I, I made a comment about Green Bay doesn't get takeaways. Green Bay's given up 344 yards per game and given up a lot of scores. And Love is saving them because Love is making them shootout games. I never thought that Green Bay could put the lid on the Cowboys. And it wasn't until it got to be blowout time that suddenly Dallas – kind of found it, but they ran out of time. They ran out of clock. They ran out of opportunities to score. Jerry Jones has been really patient with a lot of strange coaches. You know, Barry Switzer, for example, (laughs) went on and on and on. Barry won, yeah. He won a ring with Jimmy Johnson's guys that he left behind. They just haven't been a very consistent football program. Jerry has very, very patient with guys. Will he be patient with Mike McCarthy going forward? I say he probably stays the course one more year, John Riley says. 
I think McCarthy is gone, but I wondered, is Dak Prescott kind of like a Clayton Kershaw where they seem to just fold in the postseason? Could well be. Could well be. Just wasn't the same team. Hard to believe. We go. 